This video is for you bookkeepers out there. Bookkeeping can be pretty difficult. Thankfully, there are things inside of Odoo that make it a bit easier. Now, if you are a bookkeeper, I'm sure one of the things you always look forward to is reconciling your bank account. Now, you may think I'm being sarcastic, and I am a little bit, but with Odoo, you can look forward to it a little bit more. So let me walk you through the basics of reconciliation inside of Odoo, and then I'll show you a few tricks to make your life easier. So inside of Odoo, to reconcile bank accounts, we come to accounting, okay? And our dashboard pops up automatically, bringing up all of our different journals here. So looking at it, we only have one bank account right now. And according to this, we don't have any bank lines to reconcile. So one of the things that Odoo has done for us is made it so that we can connect to our bank account. So it automatically pulls in any bank statement lines. This isn't a service that Odoo manages themselves. It's through Yodli or Plaid but it's super useful. Showing you all the steps to connecting this today isn't part of what I'm going over, but if you want something like that, go ahead and drop it in the comments below. So connecting a bank account is one way for us to get our bank statement lines in. We can also just create transactions manually, or we can import them with a file. So we're just gonna create them manually for now just to give us some examples to work with. So there's a couple ways we can do this. We can go to new transaction, or I can just go into bank, and then I can go to the list view, and that's really my preferred way to do it. So let's add a few of these here. Okay, now I've got three transactions to work with. So let's go ahead and go back into the modified Kanban view here. What we're seeing right now is any bank statement line that hasn't yet been tied to something inside of Odoo. To properly reconcile our bank account, we need to tie each of these lines to something inside of Odoo. So let's go ahead and duplicate our tab. We're going to go into customers, payments. We're gonna create a new payment which is this payment from Andrew Test. This is assuming we knew about the payment before it hit the bank account. So we're going to say receive. This is from Andrew Test. Okay. The amount is going to be $500. Journal needs to be the same as what we've got our bank account under. So bank payment method. We're going to leave as manual for right now. And we're going to go ahead and confirm that. Now let's create a vendor payment. So the vendor payment, that's $300 going out from us. So we're going to say this is also Andrew Test. Kind of a weird relationship we have set up there, but that's okay. $300, okay, bank and manual. We're not going to do a memo for right now, but it's always good to have a good paper trail here. Okay, so now we can come back into the bank reconciliation. So when we click on this guy right here, it's going to try and find the closest match for us. So looking at this right here, we have outstanding receipts. 500 that means that we have a payment that hasn't yet been tied out to the bank account so we can click on that and we can go ahead and validate now let's go in and we'll tie out our vendor payment so looking at this we have outstanding payments negative 300 this makes sense it's Andrew test payment to Andrew test everything's looking good here let's go ahead and validate that so now both of these transactions are reconciled so let me stop for a second here I'm sure not all of you are bookkeepers, so let me explain what reconciliation is. So in certain accounts in Odoo, we're expecting one item to cancel out another item. For example, in accounts receivable, we would have a customer invoice, which is then matched with a payment to show that the invoice is paid. The same thing happens with our vendor bills. There are quite a few other accounts where this happens inside of Odoo. It's essentially saying this transaction takes care of this transaction, meaning that it's been finished out it's taken care of now i'm not going to go into the data behind this too much but i do want to pull back the curtain a little bit for you if you want more detail on this go ahead and drop it in the comments below and i'll consider making a video on it so let's go ahead and duplicate our tab i'm going to show you how this is represented in our journal items here so most of the time odoo refers to these as matchings but they're also reconciliations let's group by these matchings and i'll show you how this is broken down so we've only got two matchings right now. We just created those in our bank account. But if we click into this transaction right here, we can see that this is the payment that we created. That payment that we created is being linked to a bank statement line. The same thing happened down here. We had our vendor payment and we linked it to a bank statement line. Anyway, that's enough on the data for now. Let's get back to the reconciliation and some tricks to help you out. So one of the most helpful things that Odoo put in is reconciliation models so over here if we go to the little cog or gear we can create a model and this allows us to do several things so we can simply create a button here that when we press it it sets up the other side of the bank transaction so we can say okay bank fees whenever we click that button 
it's going to set up our journal entry to where 100% of that bank transaction goes to our expense account, bank fees. So clicking back out to our bank reconciliation, we can see we now have a button here. If I click bank fees, it's going to push this to bank fees. When I validate this, we now have a journal entry where the credit is to the bank side and the debit is to our expense account bank fees. But let's reset this guy and go back in here and go to view models. So we've got our bank fees here. We can trigger this in other ways. So we can have a button to generate the counterpart entry. Um, we can set up a rule to suggest the counterpart entry. And we can even make it so it auto validates, which means that based on these rules that we set down here or these conditions, it will automatically apply this model. So the most popular way to apply this auto validate is to look at the label, say it contains a certain string like bank fees, and then to give it a little bit of a cap to make sure that we're safe. So we're going to say it's lower than $25 and then we'll save this and let's run it manually to see how this works. So we've hopped back out and you can see that this guy right here is now matched. We've got that lovely green check mark here. So those models can really save you a lot of time. It's important to test those out thoroughly, obviously. You want to make sure you're safe. But we can go through in any transactions that we already know just by looking at the label what they are. We can automatically categorize those. That way we don't have to waste any of our time doing that. Anyway, that's it for now for bank reconciliations. It's fairly simple. Now, if you need a little bit more help on this, let me know. Or if there's something that you're like, hey, you kind of glossed that over, feel free to drop it in the comments and I'll create another video to cover that. And if you need more personalized help, go ahead and grab some time with me on Calendly. But as always, thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate the support.